everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're getting ready for Memorial Day weekend, and I like to call this the start of the silly season for us and for a lot of folks that follow the weather because everybody plans week-long trips to the beach in particular, but also other locations. And the first thing they do is they grab their app, whatever stock app you have, even some of the national apps, they'll pull up the location they're going and they'll go, oh no, there's a chance of rain every single day. And they'll ask, should I cancel my trip? My answer always is no. Unless there's a hurricane or some crazy event, there is always going to be a chance of rain in the summer, particularly at the beach. And part of the reason people struggle with this is they don't understand what the chance of rain is. Social media has done a horrible job of confusing people. I would say 99.9% .9 of you don't understand where that number comes from or what it actually means. So today, I wanna to explain what the chance of rain is so that you can plan your trips better and not freak out about seeing it in the forecast. So what does the chance of rain mean? It technically stands for pops or probability precipitation. That's the likelihood of seeing precipitation at any given point in the forecast area. It does not include duration or intensity, by the way. So how do we calculate this? Very simply, you take the confidence in the forecast, multiply it by the area we expect to see rain. So C times A. But this can be calculated a couple different ways. You gotta know the area first. This is our forecast area. For apps, you always don't know this, and this is why apps can be very problematic. But a simple calculation would be I'm 80% confident that half of the area is gonna see rain. That equals 40% chance of rain. But remember, not all 40% are the same. Those numbers could be flipped. We could be 50% confident that 80% of the area sees rain, we will still get 40%. I could be 100% confident that 40% of the area sees rain, we still get 40%. Or I could be 40% confident that 100% sees rain and you still get 40%. So you can see not all rain chances are the same and you need to consult a meteorologist to put this all in context for you. Are you confused yet? Yeah, it's more complicated than you thought. But the important part about this is the chance of rain does not mean a washout. Just because it's an 80% chance of rain doesn't mean it could rain all day. It could, but that's why you need to talk to me. But it also could mean we're really, really confident that for 15 minutes, there's going to be a storm and then the rest of the day is dry. So you shouldn't cancel your beach trip just because it's going to rain for 15 minutes and the other 23 and three quarters hours of the day will be dry. You wouldn't do that, would you? So be careful with these numbers. Make sure you're consulting somebody and asking, hey, is that a pop-up storm or is that an all-day rain? Because the chance of rain doesn't tell you the difference.